Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got yo, man, we got yo, we got folks talking about rap, hip hop today. All right, um, we gonna talk about that in a heartbeat, man. We got, we got, yo, we got Gabrielle Union coming at Boosie, man, of all people, man. Ice Cube wants us, what you gonna call it back? We also got, um, uh, who else we got over here, man? Uh, we we had something good. Uh, we got NBA Young Boy and the big news concerning him, man. Hey yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Hey yo, that notification bell's waiting for your taps. So if you wanna give it a tap, and that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Hey yo, check this out, man. I'm just throwing this out here, man. I let me make sure I want, look, man, nobody's around me. Man, they ain't gonna find me anyway. Check this out, man. Are you aware of the fact that three crypto C, uh, cryptocurrency CEOs died in like the span of a month? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking billionaire, like, uh, crypto CEOs, man. It's super weird, man. You know what I'm saying? We got three people I can't pronounce any of their names, man. I think one of their names is TNTN. The other guy's name is Vyashglav, right? And then the third guy's name is Nikolai, okay? One of them died in a helicopter. The other died in his sleep a week apart. And then the other one was drowned in Puerto Rico. And, and, and here's the weird thing, right? Here's the weird part of the whole thing. Can I pull it up? Do I still have my Insta up? All right, boom. Here we go right here. Let me just... Let me just save the joint so i could send it to um source proper you know what i'm saying but um uh the dude the dude uh, that died right Nic nikolai i think his name was he had a strong message okay his message says uh cia and Mossad and pedo elite are running some kind of uh, uh uh trafficking entrapment blackmail ring out of puerto rico in the caribbean islands they're going to frame me with a laptop planted by my ex-girlfriend who was a spy they will torture me to death and then he died. They said he drowned. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I don't know what's up with the crypto thing, but all three of these cats was billionaires, man. You know what I'm saying? So make that a, a, a you know, what you will of that, okay? I just needed to throw that out there because I felt like I owe it to you to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, when there's billions of dollars at stake, man, folks will catch a body easy. You know, people will kill you for about $10,000. That's little money, man. $10,000. People will kill you for $10,000. I know people that are like like principals of schools, man, assistant principals. They make about like ten thousand dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? Folks will body you for that. Anyway, my bad. Uh, someone posted on Academics Insta, right? I, I I felt like I needed to read this. Someone posted, bro. In all honesty, music is getting boring. I'm tired of hearing Future, Twenty One, Travis. Drake, Lil Baby, Gunna on every GD project talking about the same damn ish just reworded. Props to them, but where are all the new superstars at? That's real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? I, look, we've been said that, man. All the music that we're getting, it's the same old garbage. You see what I'm saying? And when I ask y'all to send me the promos, why the hell a bunch of y'all send me the same old trash? You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of trash out there. I'm gonna keep it a buck. You know what I mean? There was a lot of garbage. You know what I'm saying? The same old, same. Anyway, my bad, my bad, my bad. Check this out, man. Uh, what's my time looking like? Let me see what my time. I love. It. I think this is gonna be a short one today. Look, look, look. Last we heard from NBA Young Boy, right? He was strongly pushing his stop the violence rhetoric. Okay, it was relatively unusual. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like. You know what else was unusual though? Um, NBA Young Boy smiling and laughing a whole lot, man. That always catches me off guard. I always get nervous when I see that. Yeah, you know I mean, but it makes sense if he's doing all that cheesing while next to his little lady. You know what I'm saying? And apparently, right? That little lady has made a strong impact on the artist because NBA Youngboy is slated to get married. Uh, ain't that beautiful, man? And he seems relatively excited about it. The artist will be wedded to his lovely lady, Jaslyn Michelle, in the next couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that beautiful, man? Now, here's something you don't hear on the regular. NBA Youngboy has sent out an all call to any lady that is willing to serve as a sort of... Uh, sister wife in his marriage <laughs> you like say what yeah yeah you heard me right okay look um let me let me read the joint that 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 was posted okay it says attention read clear me and mines need a itch a servant if you have my number please text me i am serious than a killing don't be scared baby do as you told and you won't be sold <laughs> what i promise to rain you with diamonds fancy things and beautiful clothes don't pay attention to outspoken nonsense from the outside hoes or even uh, uh, or even be blinded by the things from as a child you was told. We make the rules. Call me, baby. Text me. I love you. Uh, 
uh, I don't know. Look, I think it might be a lyric to a song, but it also sounds like he's like they looking for a third party, man. So, um, you know, all you pick me's out there, put your hands down. I'm almost positive it's just a lyric. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with y'all, man? You know what I mean? But um, here's what I'm thinking, right? The man is in Utah. The man said he's been speaking to missionaries, and now they're looking for uh, like some kind of a, a side woman servant type situation. I think it's Mormons. I think Mormons done got to the man. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens when the when <laughs> this is what happens when the body don't do their job. The Mormons start kicking in and, and doing their job. Anyway, um, uh, l- let me do my shout outs real quick. A lot of y'all are like, what you talking about? Never mind all that. Look, check this out, man. Uh, man, where my screenshots at, man? All right, here we go. Here we go. Check this out, man. Um. I right, look, look, look. Lisa, Lisa Mosetta said, oh, Celeb, okay, I'm going to say it for you. Well, when we get pregnant, we are badass-ish crazy because our hormones are all over the place. But it's really not awful. <laughs> uh, shout out to you, Lisa. I appreciate that, man. Much love to you. But check this out. Check this out. Um, it really is awful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look, I know people that have pots thrown at their heads, man. Whole pots. You like you sound like you talking from experience. I'm just telling you what what like I be seeing. Yeah, you know I mean, I saw someone get a doorknob thrown at him. Yeah, you know I mean, his lady was pregnant. He was he was about to he was about to smack the ish out. Of. I had to hold him back. I said, bro, don't do it. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here, man? I look visually astounding. Said um, we just lost takeoff a little over a month ago, and Cardi B's already bragging about money. Folk might get tight with me, but stuff like that is corny. It's like it's all for the public eye and back to your regularly scheduled program. I love this page, but I really can't stand some celebrities. It's that odd uh, uh, being that I come to your. Is that odd being that I come to your page faithfully? You just make great content. Hey, look, I appreciate that. Visually astounding. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, visually also said we're living so far in Second Timothy chapter three, specifically verse two, that it's not even funny. Y'all stay blessed and love on your loved ones and strangers, but also watch out for the enemy and test the spirit. If it's not of God, don't shake hands. You know what I'm saying? Don't shake their hand or have no dealing. I, I feel that. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, a lot of times it's back to your regularly scheduled program. People don't, a lot of people, man, they grieve differently, man. Some people grieve for extended periods of time and others, man, they got to just like, you, you, you ever seen somebody um, lose a loved one, like a spouse or something like that, and they show up to work? I be having people like, like, I'd be like, oh man, you was out yesterday. They was like, yeah, my husband died. And I'm like, what the hell is you doing here? You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, if I stay home, it's going to be a disaster. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kess T came through What's my time like? Let me see All right. Kess T came through And said I could confirm The child would They're talking about Blueface's child The child would never Go to the university How the hell are You gonna confirm that They said The child would never Go to the university Become a graduate And be some real Productive member Of society That's the kind of kids All these celebrities have <laughs> Really No use to society Damn Yeah They may open theaters record labels, modeling or whatnot, some useless profession that only exists in America, but not the real world. <laughs> this person is clearly not from America, man. You know what I'm uh, Although they are right, America is not the real world. Uh, some useless profession that only exists in America, but not the real world. Quite unfortunate. They'll never have kids that will be your banker, your doctor or your teacher. Those people will be kids from regular people like you and I. The kids they have are always a continuation of their weird lives. From Jay-Z, Will Smith, damn, Shaq, LeBron, Drake, to name a few. Uh-oh. When they say Drake, all I can hear is the child. Happy birthday, daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, to name a few. Their kids will never be something the society really needs, but rather a continuation of that same unreal lifestyle. If you know, you know. Damn, that's quite the statement, man. Let me think for a second. Um, can y'all, matter of fact, there's only one celebrity that I can name that I'm like, oh, their child seems like they're relatively normal. And that's Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Name me another celebrity whose child is normal. <laughs> Please name me the, the celebrity whose child is normal. I, I really mean that because when when I if I think about any celebrity, like there's something with their child that you're like, uh. You know what I'm saying? I was telling my peoples when I read that, I was like, well, what about Trump? His kids are okay. And they was like, these kids are good. They was like, these kids are good for nothing. I said, hmm. Let me, let me, uh, let me get right back to this and wrap this bad boy up, okay? 
Gabrielle Union decided it was appropriate to take a clap at Boosie for speaking on her child, Zaya Wade. Oh, man, this connects with the last. Oh, well, forget it. Uh, look, in case you're out the loop, Zaya Wade is Dwayne Wade's male 15 year old child that recently transitioned to being a lady. <laughs> you're like, ain't that child abuse? Hell yeah, that's child abuse. Man. L- listen, man, let me let me tell you something, okay? Their minds are young and impressionable, man. You, you know that because they spin the block in accordance with the music that incited them to spin the block. Are you follow what I'm saying, man? If a child says he's a clock, you don't proceed to go through surgery to ensure he has two hands. Well, a hand is a bad example, but like we don't surgically embed numbers on the child's face. Are you catching my drift? That's taking advantage and exploiting the child's young and impressionable mind, man. These folks will humor the hell out you, right? Oh, yeah, it's fun. That's what you feel you are. Then that's what it is. That's what you are. Then let your ass get locked up and the humor is over. They sticking you in a male prison with a plethora of swinging sticks. You see what I'm saying? Look, look, <laughs> I, I knew this, I knew this, this fool ad dude, right? He decided he wanted to be the pastor's lady, okay? Got into a fight with the pastor, snuffed him, pastor's head hit the floor, he died. You like, <laughs> and went straight to hell. And look, I didn't say all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but wherever it was, I'm almost positive it ain't where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something right now regarding that. If we both die, right, and you get to heaven, and I'm not there, my friend, you're in hell. You know what I'm saying? My bad. L- listen, when it comes to little Boosie, right? Gabrielle Union had a strong message. Dare I say last message for little Boosie concerning Zaya. Hey, yo, take a listen. So far, so good, you know. Sorry, Boosie. <laughs> Uh, he's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is. Very it's much almost so. like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look. You got a lot of dick on your mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's Throw like that out there. It's like Zaya and Lil Nas X living his head. <laughs> free, right? Free. Free. Like what? It's like, sir. <laughs> yeah, um, Something you want to just go ahead and tell us. This is a safe space. No, for real. We <laughs> should be your sanctuary. Perhaps that safe space was not provided for him. And I don't think he had a safe space. He did not have one. We could, we yeah. could definitely tell. Mm-hmm. Uh- That's odd. She said Boosie was gay as a diss, and everybody laughed. If you saying it like it's offensive, why you ain't checking the 15 year old? Like, you know what I'm saying? Are, you, like, are y'all catching the line of reasoning, man? You know what I mean? Hey, yo, you dressing like a bum. Look at you. But I support my child in his bumism. You know what I'm saying? What are you, an idiot? But I support my child in his idiocy. <laughs> Look, I can't believe how smart you are. I support my child in being smart. You see the consistency in the thought process here? Are y'all catching what I'm doing? <laughs> Yo, I mean, what's going on? You must be confused. I support my child in his confusion. Look, I can tell she's on the wrong side of the argument. You know why? Because she couldn't even explain it. She just went straight for the joke. It, it, look, if I could get you to laugh instead of thinking critically, <laughs> you won't notice the poor job I'm doing as a parent. That's right. Look, I don't approve of everything Boosie does. Please don't make make no mistake about it. But she completely took the, Her, the, the Herschel Walker approach. You know what I'm saying? She might as well have pulled out a fake badge to prove her point. Look, any second now, she'll be aiming for Boosie to get canceled. Because, I mean, if it can't be explained, they'll be aiming to silence you. You know what I'm saying? Look, like the canceling. One group does violence, the other one does silence. You know what I'm saying? That's how it always goes. Look, 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 look. That rhyme, you know I'm right. If she's calling Boosie gay as a slick diss, then what's the joke behind the statement? You know what I'm saying? Now, now, Boosie did have a strong response for her, okay? He stated, um, let me see if I can pull it up here. Boosie said, LOL. He said, for, 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 first of all, he go, wait, let me see. Because what, what number is that? Three? That's four? That's two? I blah. Boosie said, woman, you better leave me alone. How dare you? Uh, uh, wait, how dare you uh, challenge a ghetto hero's man? How dare you challenge a ghetto hero's manhood? You wrong, shaking my head. I don't have the time for this. I'm trying to have peace in my life and stay alive. Cause you know, you know, like rappers is like the most dangerous profession. He said, "LOL." The world know I love women. In the world know I. Your husband loved <laughs> sticks. I hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. <laughs> they don't. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews, and here you go. Go bang him with that 
stick and wait on a strip, you little white girl. <laughs> I say white girl like it's a diss. You know what I'm saying? Look, there's, there's good people on both sides. Uh, where am I at over here? Look, 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 look. Listen, man. Now, what's my time looking like? Yeah, whatever. If your child is misidentifying themselves as something that's contrary to their clear identity, that, that doctors for centuries have been able to identify, I believe that's mental child abuse. Now, you don't have to like what I'm saying, but I'm saying it. You know what I mean? And the reason why you don't like what I'm saying is because it's right and you wrong. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it a buck. You know what I mean? You're exploiting and, uh, and abnormally using, in other words, abusing their mental state. Doctors who've performed transitional surgeries are speaking up on the regrets of those that have transitioned, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, man. I'm talking to you, the listener. Let me be clear, okay? Your children don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? When they speak. Like, like, like they speak like they think they know what they're talking about. But their frontal lobe ain't even fully developed. So your kids can shut the cuff up. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. You know what I mean? Look, look, you, they might have great ideas, but not every one of them is a go. You know what I'm saying? Look, look a, pa a parent that's worth the title does not allow their child to make decisions that are lifelong decisions and affect their whole lives, man. You know what I'm saying? Are you dumb? Stupid? <laughs> look, I support all my ninjas that are dumb and stupid. Look, if you do, if you don't love not thinking critically, put your cell phone lighters in a father mucking air. You know what I'm saying? Or, or or feel free to hit us with a wave water emoji. You know what I mean? You can do that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna hate that. And finally, you're like, I hate this channel. Well then go ahead and hit the sub button, man. It ain't gonna hit itself. I mean, come on, bruh. Uh the artist Ice Cube has made himself abundantly clear. He wants his film Friday back, okay? He done thought up a, a gold mine and Warner Bros was like, I'll take that. You know Give me that flick, fool. It's a full-time jack move. Now, now, Ice Cube's been wanting um, the flick back, but it appears Warner Brothers is not willing to part with the joint, okay? Um, <laughs> they like, raise up, because you can't have it back. And Ice is like, yo, I ain't never got gaffled like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, you know, Jack of a Beast is one of my favorite songs, man. What do you want? What do you want me to do? Okay? Check this out, though, man. Wait, wait, let me see if I can pull it up. All right, look. Ice Cube said the following. He said, uh, I don't know. Warner Brothers is weird right now. I don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. We'd love to have it back. I think it's going to be close to a time when we get it back. So we'll either wait for that time or we'll keep trying to convince them that they need to let us control the movie. It's my movie, but they have distribution control. Now, I think uh, Mike Tyson asked him, like, you know what I'm saying? If he, if he considered purchasing the rights and stuff like that. He's like, I ain't putting ish up for it. F no. They need to give it to me, and they going to make money. I'm not about to pay for my own stuff. That's stupid. They need to do the right thing, get it to us, let us turn it into more money, and make the fans happy. We could do a lot with it. Close quote. But Ice Cube. Let me tell you something. These people don't care about making the fans happy, bro. They just want to make a big, big bag. You know what I'm saying? They will, uh, and that shows you the difference. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's for the culture and somebody that's not. Warner Brothers is like, we don't give a F about no culture or none of that stuff. We just want to make a bag. And Ice Cube is like, yo, we want to make the fans happy, man. We want to make the fans smile. They loved Friday. Let's try to do it again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully Ice Cube gets it back, man. Because, I mean, he really he really did magic with the with the Friday franchise, man. And we know he could do it again, man. You know what I'm saying? Ice Cube, look, man. Uh, truth be told, I like to see Ice Cube laugh and smile, man. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I've seen it in, in Friday, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Gabrielle Union and Boosie, man. I mean, what you think on that? You know what I'm saying? I think Gabrielle... I think she's way off target on that one, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own opinions, and you know what mine is, man. You know what I mean? Yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. And hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.